In this video, we're going to talk about absolute value inequalities. There's a little bit of a play on words going on here, and it's meant to help you understand how to graph absolute value inequalities. Notice that if you have an absolute value that is greater than a number, it means that you are traveling a certain distance from zero. This is important to remember when you have an absolute value that is greater than a number. Because when you have an absolute value greater than some number, we'll say two in this case, you use an or inequality statement x greater than 2 means the distance from 0 is more than 2, or greater than 2. If we were to graph this specific absolute value inequality, on a number line, we would have something heading to the right, from 2 to the right, and also from negative 2 to the left. Notice that the distance from 0 is greater than or more than 2 heading either direction from 0. This is a graph of a compound or inequality. It can be written as x less than negative 2 or x greater than 2. If the absolute value is greater or greater than a number, we set up an or. Let's try example one. As you may recall, when you're setting up an absolute value inequality, just like when we were solving absolute value equations, you have to write two separate statements, which is why we have the or inequality situation. We have 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 7, or 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to negative 7. Solving these, We get x is greater than or equal to 4, or, now let's solve the other one. Add 1 to both sides. Divide by 2 on both sides, and we get x is less than or equal to negative 3. If we graph this, we get negative infinity to the left, positive infinity to the right, center is 0. So x being greater than or equal to 4, we'll call this 4 right here, means a closed dot heading to the right, and x less than or equal to negative 3, we'll call this negative 3 here, another closed dot heading to the left. 
So if we wanted to write the interval, remember since our original absolute value inequality stated that the absolute value was greater than, we have to write a union or an or statement with our intervals. The intervals in which the absolute value inequality is true is from negative infinity to negative 3 or the interval from 4 to positive infinity. In example 2, we have to set up a very similar process. We're going to have 7x plus 4 greater than 32 and 7x plus 4 less than negative 32. Once again, solving. Dividing by 7, we get x is greater than x is greater than 4. Again, solving the other side. x is less than negative 36 sevenths. When we graph this, we can see what's happening. To the left is negative infinity, heading to the right is positive infinity. We have zero in the center on our number line. x is greater than 4, so at 4 we have an open dot heading to the right. Or x is less than negative 36 sevenths. And that's also an open dot heading to the left. Since this is an or inequality, we unite the two pieces. So our interval in which this absolute value inequality is true is from negative infinity to negative 36 sevenths or 4 to positive infinity.